And um, next up is inserting the RAM and the ROM if they are not already in. If they're already in, fine. If not, the RAM chip, also you need to make sure by pushing on it that the pins are straight. There's a half moon on the chip and a half moon in the socket. They need to align and be very careful inserting this component. It's quite tricky. You need to make sure that all the pins are in all the holes. Really double check and push down carefully but with enough force to insert the chip all the way down. That takes quite a lot of force. So now it's fine, no pins are bent. The EEPROM, make sure that all the pins are in a straight line and insert them again, double check that no pins are bent, insert gently but with enough force. So we've checked all the solder joints, there doesn't appear to be any short. So we go back to the next step and if we now connect it something should happen. Connect to the power and indeed we see a test pattern on the LEDs. This means that at this moment our Gigatron is actually running code from the ROM using the instruction decoder and it's outputting through the LEDs. So actually congratulations, you've built yourself a working TTL microcomputer. Now to be able to do something really useful, we're going to solder on some I.O. chips. What's also interesting at this point is to tell you that as you can see the system stopped and that is because I'm using a power bank and the Gigatron is using so little power that the power bank thinks nothing is connected. So I need to turn it on again to get the system to work again. If you do not get output, so maybe in previous stages you did get the power OK LED, but at this stage you don't get output, the most likely cause is that the uh, power supply you're using is not supplying enough voltage to run the system. So as I said before, it uses very little power uh, as of wattage, but it needs to have uh, a good power source with enough volts. So if it doesn't work, you can use a laptop or an external power supply to hook up your system. I have a laptop nearby that I can use and um, check with different power supplies to see if you can find one that actually works.